All right, so in this video, we are going to take a look at the Thony interface. The Thony Python development environment has a very simple layout that is ideal for beginners. Here at the top is the main menu, where you can find and execute all of Thony's many different features, as well as to get help and information. And here is the toolbar, which contains Thony's most commonly used features. You can create, open, and save files, you can run the code in an existing Python file. You can use Thony's simple debugging tools. You can also stop and restart the backend. This is often used if there is an error in your code that causes the program to get stuck and become unresponsive. Right below the toolbar is the code editor. This is where you will write and edit your Python code. Let's go ahead and add some code. You'll see the line numbers here, which can be very helpful when you are trying to debug your code. Okay, so now let's save this. I'll put this inside my Python intro folder as well. Let's give it a name. I will name it test. Make sure you select Python files as the format and then click save. You can have multiple Python files open at once and you'll be able to easily switch between them. So let's try that. Let's go ahead and open our Hello World program. And now we can switch between the files by clicking on the tabs. All right, so down here is the shell. If you don't see the shell, you can go up here to View and click on Shell. Here, we have access to the Python interpreter in interactive mode. And we can type some Python code in here and have it immediately execute by pressing enter. Now, if we run this currently active Python file, hello world.py, we will also see the print outputs come out here in the shell. I think my font size is a little too small for this video, so I can go ahead and change the font properties by going up to the main menu and choosing Tools, and then Options. Then over here under Theme and Font, I can change the font in the code editor here, and the font properties for the shell can be changed here. I-O stands for Input Output. I will just bring both of them up to 20. And then I will click OK to apply the changes and close the window. And finally, let's take a look at the assistant. It's not visible in my workspace yet, so I will go to View and then click on Assistant in order to show it. The assistant observes you're currently running script and will offer some help whenever something wrong happens. For example, let's say that we misspell the word print here in line one. This is going to cause an error. Oh, and by the way, whenever you edit a file, you'll see an asterisk appear beside its name here in the tab as a reminder that you need to save the file to apply the changes. But when we run this, Thony will automatically save the updated code. So I'll click on Run. The code is saved and executed, and here in the shell, we see the error. Error messages can look intimidating, so the assistant tries to present the information in a more beginner-friendly manner. We can click on this link right here in order to highlight the line where the error was encountered, which in this case is line number one. The assistant even gives us some suggestions on what might have gone wrong. It says here, Python doesn't know what prompt stands for. And then it offers a few suggestions. The first one says, did you misspell it somewhere? And then we can click on the plus sign to expand the details and it says, I found similar names. Are all of them spelled correctly? And it lists print and prompt, which helps us realize that we did in fact misspell the word print 
here in line one. So we should go ahead and change that to fix the code and then we can run it again. Okay, so at this point, I will end this video of our first look at the Thani interface. Of course, there is much more to see. There are more views and features that we will explore in the future as we learn how to program in Python with the help of Thani.